Well, Thanksgiving is over, and I guess we've got some leftovers. Some leftover turkey, as it were. And yeah, these are some real video game turkeys. I am going to talk about the top five worst Atari games that I've ever reviewed, at least so far. There'll be plenty more, I'm sure. But these are just the top five worst Atari games that I've reviewed thus far. What do you say we get started? Number five, Math Grand Prix. Yes, uh, you might remember that I reviewed this game some years ago. Actually, quite a while ago. You know, back in year one of my Atari Guy reviews. Yeah, I was still starting out at the time. Anyway, the point is, this game is awful. And the reason why this game is awful, it's an educational game. I mean, like I said in my original review, it's a math game. Math quizzes are not fun. Playing video games are fun. You put them both together, you got yourself a recipe for disaster here. Hey, you got the right answer. Go! I also hate the music there, or whatever it is, that sound. I mean, you got the right answer, but just the cue, the, the music cue, or whatever it is, makes you feel like you got the wrong answer. And when it sounds like, Duh, it makes you sound like you got the wrong answer, even though it's right. 3 plus 4. I would hope it's not 0. What the hell? It's 7. Go already, you moron. Look at that. They look like they're going to crash into each other. Yeah, so he gets to advance two spaces. Meanwhile, the red one is basically stuck in limbo. Ugh. Come on. Move your ass. Oh, that's right. The joystick has to be tapped up. Hey, just for fun, let's just get the wrong answer anyway. It doesn't matter, because the game corrects you anyway. So, the blue gun, the blue car, gets to move more, more spaces, and more spaces, and all he's got to do is just one more space and the asshole wins. Come on, go! Move your sorry ass! What? You see why this game is horse shit? Number four. Berserk for the Atari 5200. And then, of course, there's Berserk here, like I mentioned. <clears throat> Excuse me. Right, Berserk for the 5200. Do you know how bad this is? Do you know? This game is so bad, the controller is so clunky and awkward and useless, I can't even play it for you. Yes. This game is awesome on the 2600. I mean, really awesome. But, because I can't even get the damn controller to work, well, I can't even... I can't even play anything from this game at all. Nothing. Instead, this is what we get. That's what you're in for. A screen that does that. How pathetic is that? I can't even push this game... I can't even push the start button on this damn thing. It's just the demo screen. And it doesn't even try. I mean, it just... The guy just stands there letting himself get hit. Open to attack. Just watch. And we don't even get that awesome got the human, got the chicken sound effect at all. All because this piece of crap controller doesn't fucking work. Let's move on. Number three, Bill and Ted's Excellent Adventure for the Atari Lynx. Dear God. Hmm, yes. I mentioned back in January of 2013 my problems with this game, of course. And as I called this game, a total bummer, dude. And I was absolutely right on the money. I mean, basically, all you do in this game is you go around collecting music notes. And did I mention, yeah, you go around ancient Egypt collecting these music notes here. 
you know, I guess they're supposed to be for a guitar or something. But it's never exactly clear what you're supposed to do. See, there I got one music note, but so what? It's not going to do me any good in the long run. Shallow water. Cool. Bogus. That's water, dude. Yeah, state the flippin' obvious, will ya? We already know that. There we go. I'm going to turn the screen down so you can see it a little better. Okay, I think there's a gold nugget or something here. Quicksand. There's no gold nugget here. What the hell? Eh, maybe it's in a different place. That's water, dude. Be most excellent, dude. Oh, wow. Where the hell? Jesus, where's the bridge all of a sudden? Oh, bogus. Beetles. Big beetles. God. Nothing in the tree, dude. There's nothing in the tree, dude, and there's nothing in this game, dude. What the hell? Will someone please tell me what in God's name am I playing here? Ugh. Nothing's happening. Nothing's happening. I got a music note. Yeah, but so what? That doesn't mean anything. Anyway, I guess the roundabout way of saying it is, this game is a total bummer, dude. It's totally unawesome, completely heinous, and I think we better move on, dude. Number two, Iron Fucking Soldier for the Atari Jaguar. Anyway, you've heard me rant about this game before already. I never could figure out how this stupid game was set up. I never could figure out how you get your weapons. And I could never also figure out this. Why everything is done in a first-person perspective. And how clunky and hard it was to actually move the goddamn robot. I mean, if, at best, you could probably step on a few houses or a tank or something shooting at you. But that was always my problem with this game. All I can see are the robot's feet. Now, what is this? Now where am I? Yeah, so you try and kick something and it doesn't work. Because the damn kick button hardly ever works at all. Ugh, where the hell am I? Now I can't even turn around. I have no idea where the hell I'm going. God, now you can see why I consider this to be one of the worst games that I've ever reviewed thus far. Ugh. Come on, do something! Step on the tank! Come on, for Christ's sakes, you're letting him win! Ugh. Wait, wait, did I, did I get him? I can't even be, I don't even know if I got him. The graphics aren't even clear on that. Something's firing at me and I don't know what it is or where it's coming from. I don't know where the hell I'm going. The first runner-up, I suppose, for the worst games that I've ever reviewed would be this one, Home Run on the 2600 VCS. I'm not even going to show you the horrendousness of this game. Another runner-up was Xavius for the 7800. This game's definitely not good, but then again, it can't be the worst game I've ever reviewed. Another runner-up was Superman for the Atari VCS, or 2600. Yeah, the only reason this game sucks is because... It's too friggin' easy. It's all a matter of time and everything. There's no way to die in this game. 
which I guess is a good thing, but it's just too damned easy. Another runner-up was Kangaroo on the 2600. The 5200 version is actually pretty good. That one's enjoyable, but the 2600 version, not so much. It's too goddamn hard, especially by the time you get to the second or third level. I'd say avoid this one. And our last runner-up here is White Men Can't Jump for the Jaguar. This game I don't know what to make of. It has nothing at all to do with the Woody Harrelson Wesley Snipes movie. It's just kind of its own thing. And I'm not even going to show you how the game is played anymore. I don't want to go through that. And the number one worst Atari game that I have ever reviewed, at least thus far, of course is... E.T. Oh yeah. You knew this was going to top the list. I just wanted to make it very clear that this is not going to be a clip show, nor was I trying to make it a clip show. Besides, that would sound like I ran out of ideas for good, game, for good or bad games to review, and I haven't run out of ideas just yet. These are just the five worst Atari games that I've reviewed so far. I'm sure there'll be five more even worse games. So, from all of us at the Atari Guy, this has been the Atari Guy saying... Hope you had a nice Thanksgiving. Enjoy your Black Friday shopping, if you dare. And also, the best way to have a really good Merry Christmas is don't bother playing any of these crappy games. This has been the Atari Guy saying, Happy New Year, whatever. So there you have it. Those are the five worst games I've ever reviewed as the Atari Guy thus far. I mean, yeah, there are plenty worse, but I'll get to them maybe next year. But these are the five so far that I think I've reviewed that are the most awful. Yep, some leftover turkey from Thanksgiving. Christmas is almost upon us. So do yourself a favor and never play these games again as long as you live. I am dead serious. Dead. Frickin' serious. On the second day of Christmas, my true love gave to me two dry martinis, one Bloody Mary, and a partridge.